Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn about the concept of variable valency. This topic is under ICSC standard 8 syllabus from the chapter language of chemistry. Valency we know that number of electrons donating or accepting by any element will be its valency. So sometimes what will happen that one element will show more than one valency. So they are known as variable valency. If they are showing more than one valency. For example copper. Copper's atomic number is 29. So its electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 18 and 1. Now here this we know that this is a valence shell. But the second last shell we call as penultimate shell. Penultimate means the second last orbit. So if you will see here in 18 and 1 it has only one electron. So sometimes what will happen to become stable? To make two electron in the last shell one electron will jump from the second last shell to the last shell. Okay. In the first electronic distribution, it will be 2, 8, 18, 1. This is known as penultimate shell. That is second last orbit. This is last orbit. It is known as valence shell. So, the copper will become more stable if in the last shell there will be two electrons. So what will happen that there are 18 electrons. So one electron will jump from the penultimate shell to the last shell. So the 18 will become 17 and here one electron will become two electron. So this both the state we can see in copper. So when this electronic configuration copper will show the valency of copper in that state will be 1 because it has 1 electron in its outermost shell. When the copper will show this electronic configuration, the valency of this copper will be 2 because it has 2 electron in its outermost shell. 1 electron from the penultimate shell has been jumped to valence shell. So, if copper will make a compound with chloride in this valency then it will be CuCl in this form we are our copper is copper 1 chloride because its valency is 1 but copper 2 also can make a compound with chlorine so it will be CuCl2 and in this it is copper 2 chloride we know that sometimes we are writing iron 2 oxide and sometimes we are writing iron 3 oxide. So iron also show, Fe also show variable valency. Sometimes it is Fe plus 2, sometimes it is Fe plus 3. The same reason will be behind the ions variable valency. Here copper 1 chloride will form and here copper 2 chloride will form because copper will show variable valency. And what are the variable valency of copper? Cu plus 1 in this case and here Cu plus 2 in this case. 